This week, Steam hardware becomes available, Radeon R9 380X finally gets a release date, NVIDIA's new Jetson TX1 can make scary smart robots, and more. I'm David Wolf with Tech Power Up News. For those of us who just want to buy a system and play some games, there's a great new option. Steam hardware launched by Valve of, well, Steam fame. Steam fame. These nifty little boxes are manufactured by, at the time of this video, a handful of companies, including Alienware, Zotac, and Cyber. The Cyber looks like it's ready to chew on your face. A couple of the manufacturers offer different tiers of oomph. Cyber offering 499, 729, and 1419 American dollar offerings. Naturally, the pricier ones are faster, offering up to a Core i7 4790K, 16 gigabytes of RAM, and a GTX 980, all running Steam OS. Alienware has two options, although one is not really Steam hardware, but a similar solution. The controller, although not exactly a work of beauty in my opinion, looks very nicely laid out, taking some notes from the PlayStation and Xbox controllers, forgoing the traditional directional pads and second joystick for two trackpads that seem promising in the way of precision. I'm sure everyone can attest to the clumsiness that is a joystick in first-person shooters. The system seemed like a great way to go for a simple and attractive solution to PC gaming, with what could be an amazing controller to boot. I've never been much for controllers in an FPS, but I gotta say, I'd love to try this. Nvidia is bringing us one step closer to Skynet with their Jetson TX1 module, a credit card sized device that opens up the door for a new wave of machines capable of learning, like smart drones that can navigate on their own around obstacles for search and rescue missions comprehend audible conversations, and recognize images. The Jetson TX1 developer kit is available for pre-order as of November 12th for an actually pretty low price of 599 American dollars, with the module itself becoming available sometime in early 2016 at 299 if you buy over a thousand of them. I think the idea that anyone with the cash having the ability to make thousands of intelligent machines is creepy as all hell. Does anyone else feel that way? Remember back in September when I talked about AMD getting ready to release the R9 380X? You may have noticed that for a while when you went to go purchase one that, hey, they're nowhere to be found. Well, AMD has finally put a launch date on the card, November 15th, my mom's birthday. Isn't that great? She doesn't care. A nice development since September is the cloud of nebulosity surrounding the specs has dissipated. The card is looking like a very nicely priced option at $249.99, it takes advantage of a previously untapped price point. Between the $300 plus R9 390 and GTX 970, and the around 200 R9 380. So if the GTX 960 and R9 380 are just too affordable for you, grab yourself a 380X. With Microsoft's first major update to Windows 10, the company set out to make major improvements to its performance. Redmond is claiming that now the OS will have 30% shorter startup time than Windows 7. Kind of wonder why they don't compare it to 8. Well, they also claim higher performance in everyday tasks, while giving Cortana the ability to take inputs from a device's pen. Say you scribble information in her notebook and she recognizes it, extracting data like phone numbers, names, and email addresses. Then you can write little quips in her diary and she'll send you love letters and it gets really creepy because she's a robot. That's all the news I have for this week, but there's more every week, so stick around. Also, make sure to check out our website, and you'll find lots of great articles on stuff I talked about today and other stuff, like the Asus Republic of Gamers 8 Extreme Assembly Motherboard and GTX 980 Ti Matrix, Sharkoon introduces their new BW9000 series mid-tower chassis, Thermalright launches Le Grande Macho CPU cooler, and more. I understand that with just a few minutes of news, you won't get all the info you need, or you might have a question. Why won't you head on over to our forums and ask us that question? There's plenty of people around to help you out. Did you watch this video and think, hey, I wanted game news? Have I got the channel for you? Check out our sister channel, Next Power Up. They've got awesome game reviews and weekly gaming news. Clicky clicky.